Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a super special one because not only am I going to show you guys my entire, and I mean my entire perfume collection, this is also a video collab with Shelton here on YouTube. I found him on YouTube, I want to say a few months ago. It might be longer now. Um, he does a lot of Bath and Body Works. Um, a lot of like daily vlogs. He has a vlog channel too. He, him and I are, I just, I love his vibe. I love his style and it just really interests me. I love his videos. I definitely go to his channel for reviews to be like, I wonder what Shelton thinks about this or what did he buy from the haul or from the sale? So I will leave his information down below. Thank you Shelton for collabing with me. Um, but I'll leave the link to his channel down below and his Instagram name so you go follow him. He's a whole vibe. I love it. Um, but we decided to collab together on our perfume kind of fragrance collections. So there's a lot, a lot here. This is just what I'm showing you now. It's just the top part of my nine cube organizer. I have three cubes full of perfumes and two shelves full of perfumes as well. So this will be a long video. I apologize if you don't like long videos, but I don't feel like putting it into two parts because that means two videos I have to edit and I just rather edit one big chunky video. So grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get started. So we're working with a little bit of weird lighting here just because the light underneath the shelf has to be turned on or else this looks like super dungeony and I don't like that. So I apologize for the lighting. But we have a lot. So if you didn't know, I do work at Victoria's Secret slash Bath and Body Works. Um, I won't go into full detail, but a lot of these I do get at associate sales. So every now and then we'll have a big, and I'm talking big, associate sale where we can go and get discounted merchandise for a very, very, very low price. Um, normally it's like every once a season. I didn't go this last round because I was just like, I don't, I don't need any more, um, as you can see. But that's where I get a lot of my fragrances from, as well as TJ Maxx. I find some good, some good finds, and I've been dabbling more into Sephora and more high end, which we'll get into later. So the top shelf is going to be all bombshell. So Bombshell is a full line of fragrances. All of them have a mix of the original. So at the very beginning, we have the original Bombshell perfume. And up until this point, I had to move them down because um, I ran out of room. But up until this point, those are all the Bombshell. I believe I have all of them um, up until Bombshell in Paris or Bombshell and Bloom. I might be missing like a very few like in between ones, but I do have most of them up until that point. There has been some previously that I obviously wasn't purchasing because I wasn't in a perfume then, but I started collecting um, perfumes since 2017, I think it was. So it's been quite some time. Some of these scents, I do get associate sales, like I said. So some of them will have numbers on the back and that was the price that they sold them at and I can't get those numbers off. Um, so I just want to share little details there. We will go through each one. I'm going to try not to share like scent notes and all of that. If you're looking for a review on any of these fragrances I show you in this video, leave in the comments below which one you're interested in and then I'll do a separate video on that fragrance. So let's dive in. So this is the original Bombshell, one of my all-time favorites, Bombshell in Paris. Next is Bombshell Seduction, another one of my favorites, as you can tell. Next is Bombshells in Bloom. This one did come back in a different, uh, different style jar or packaging. It's more simple without the big flower on it but I do like this older bottles, bottle style. Next is Bombshell Summer. You can tell I have used this like crazy, but don't worry, cause it came back 
and two other names. It came back as Bombshell Paradise. And then once more as Bombshell Beach. So if you see these three names, they're all the same fragrance. Next is this one that kind of has like this snowy scene. Now, originally the bombshell only came in this bottle style. So I know this is a bombshell, but I don't know which one uh, because it was kind of like limited edition holiday packaging, but I do have this one. Continuing the holiday trend, we have bombshell holiday. Another one of my absolute favorites is bombshell nights. Bombshell Wildflower, Bombshell New York, Bombshell Intense, which I love the red bottle on this, Bombshell Passion, Bombshell Gold, Bombshell Oud, which this one kind of was um, not talked about a lot because it was, I believe it was late and it was only available internationally and it kind of was just there and then it disappeared. But this one definitely is a great one. And then we have Bombshell Celebration, which I love the style bottle they used. This was this past holiday season. So I apologize again, the lighting is very weird when it comes to these shelves. I kind of want to add like LED lights or something. I don't know, I'm messing around with it still. The next shelf, is going to be the love collection and the very sexy collection first up in the love collection we have love star next is the original love and then we have first love this is new to the very sexy line it's called very sexy oasis i have the original very sexy very sexy orchid very Sexy Night, which I have plenty backups of this. I know I have like a drop left, but this one is one of my favorites. And then I have Very Sexy C. All right, now we're to the top portion of my cube organizer. So hopefully the lighting is a lot better. So I'm gonna actually start over here and then I'll work my way down. I have Ariana Grande's Thank You Next. I also have the Ariana Grande Cloud. Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct Together. Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct Sheer. A little throwback of Vanilla Fields. Victoria's Secret Blowing Kisses. And then in that same collection, Up All Night. I have Replica by Mason Margiela in the Coffee Break. Another replica in By the Fireplace, one of my absolute favorites. And then Beach Walk, also in the replica line. Now to go through what everyone's been wondering, what is in my Bath and Body Works perfume collection. First, we have You're the One. I do have an extra of this. Pure Wonder, Gingham Love, Fairy Tale, Rose, A Thousand Wishes, Gingham, you're the One, Sunshine Mimosa, Hibiscus Paradise, Midsummer Dream, Honey Wildflower, Japanese Cherry Blossom, Open Sky, and Into the Night. I have Tease Candy Noir, Tease Cream Cloud, Sexy Little Things Noir, Scandalous, Intense, Exo Victoria, Tease Glam, Tease Heartbreaker, Tease Dreamer, Tease Rebel, which this one is my one of my favorites in the Tease line. And then the original Tease, which is also in a new bottle, the same bottle as Tease Candy Noir. The next portion is now the final portion. So these are mostly where I keep my luxury other than the replica because I grab my replica a whole lot regardless what temperature it is outside I'll wear by the fireplace all day. I also keep um, hair mist in here, minis, 
body mist i have some mini other minis as well um like little testers if i want to test like get a sample from sephora um to test like a fragrance before i buy it that's where i get those and i also have more retired victoria's secret fragrances so let's get started on this so i went ahead and reused a three-way candle jar got some of this diamond rhinestone mesh and super glued it to kind of make it more girly i did that as well with the little like spin table lazy susans i couldn't think of it i'm not going to go through all of these um these are like testers that i get or mostly they are roller balls from victoria's secret the next three wick holder I have is all of my mini perfumes. So I collect all of them. They are the minis for Bath and Body Works perfumes. Um, Pure Wonder, Honey Wildflower did not have a mini. And then I also have the rose one as well, which obviously won't fit in here. Next is this hair mist that I'm obsessed with. Absolutely obsessed with. This hair mist, I'm just gonna give a little review on it. This hair mist, Kayali, if you're watching this, you need to make this in all the fragrances. All of them, especially Vanilla 28. But this Deja Vu White Flower, I just, I smell like my life, I have my life together. Like that's what this makes me feel like. This hair mist lasts so long in my hair, I could be out at a bonfire and I can still smell this. This is a kind of metal jar, but the mister on here is so nice. You only need a couple spritz and it, it works wonders. I'm so happy I have this and I may have to pick another one up for the Sephora sale. All right, so next up is going to be this um, collection or portion of my collection. This is kind of a mix of perfumes, um, some body oils, some mist, some more hair and body mist. And this is all um, DIY. So this is a Lazy Susan I found at TJ Maxx. I got it for, I think it was like six bucks. And then I found the diamond, like the mesh. And I went ahead and super glued it on there to kind of give it a more affordable girly kind of vibe in my perfume collection so let's get into it i'm gonna start with this because this is my wicked perfume and this i got from a sale because you can see there's um sharpie on it but this i wore this is probably my all-time most favorite perfume ever this is discontinued, I'm very sad. It's very vanilla, very heavy on the vanilla. If I wear this, my boyfriend knows exactly what perfume I'm wearing because this is what I wore when we first met. So he knows exactly what perfume I'm wearing when I wear this. It is my favorite. I love it so much. Next we have the Crush Perfume, which also came back in a different bottle style called Just a Kiss. But this is the older bottle next we have the bombshell shimmer fragrance oil we then have the love fragrance oil which this one's not mixed up so you kind of have to shake it up but i love their fragrance shimmer oils next is the eau de juice love unfiltered i love the packaging of these these are so unique i want to get the rest of them um but i just haven't bit the bullet yet but i might have to get the rest of them because the fragrance is very good and the packaging is just to die for. Next is this Olivia Care Body Mist and Lotus Blossom. I found this at Target a long time ago and I actually like it uh, before bed if I just wanna freshen up with something light. Up next is the Very Sexy Hair and Body Mist. I love this stuff. I really wish Victoria's Secret came back with these. The bottle is sleek. So I just mixed up the fragrance because it kind of separated just a little bit. Um, but these smell so, so good. I have another one in the Very Sexy Now fragrance. I also have the Bombshell Seduction Powder Oil. 
this comes out as an oil if we can see on the back of my hand it comes out as an oil but when it dries down it turns to this powdery substance definitely a great great scent and i actually really enjoy these here's the bombshell summer one of the powder oil we're then going to get into my mix bar collection so this is sparkling hibiscus these are from i get mine at target they are hair and body mist these are strong in the mist makes my hair smell really good it doesn't oily it doesn't make my hair oily or anything like that and it really lasts well on my skin i also have the coconut palm scent vanilla bourbon glass rose and my recent picked up scent whipped almond next up is my more luxury end of perfumes and a body mist in here i do have one mix bar perfume in here um, because I don't really know or have room to put it somewhere. So it's just going here for right now. So let's get into this. This is the Whipped Almond Perfume from Mix Bar. It's my first actual perfume version and not the body hair mist. But this scent smells very, very good. To continue with the mist, if you don't have the Chirosa 62 from Sol de Janeiro, which is the same scent as the Boom Boom Cream, you are missing out this stuff smells delicious i want to do a whole dedicated sol de janeiro uh video but this it, it's just just please please get it just get it here is the matching perfume that is a recent pickup i have been actually non-stop wearing this too i love the disco ball it kind of just i don't know gives me like a nostalgia vibe for some reason but this scent is a powerhouse it smells so so good as you can see this is my all-time favorite ysl perfume mon Perry. i have used this like crazy especially on date nights but this one very good next is my ysl libre i love the classy bottle style to this this one i used a lot during the fall and then here's the infamous Kayali Vanilla 28. You can see I've put a hurting on this. This is, if you don't know the hype behind this, then you're just not paying attention because this scent is to die for. I definitely recommend this for the Sephora sale that's coming up in April because this just is so good. So good. It's a great layering perfume and it's also a great just base perfume of just wearing it by itself next is another recent purchase which is sunkissed hibiscus from nest and cocoa woods by nest here is another and the last section of my perfume collection i do have these body butters or whipped body creams i guess um they are glass so i thought they were very classy to kind of set out so this is the Tease Candy Noir and then the Tease Cream Cloud. So most of these are going to be retired fragrances except for a couple. Um, I'll let you know what couple there are that still are available. But I do collect the retired ones anytime I can get my hands on them during the associate sale. First up, we have Very Sexy Now. Love is Heavenly, Basic Instinct, Heavenly Summer, Heavenly in the old bottle style, Heavenly in the new one, this one is still available I believe, Dream Angel, this one is still available, the infamous Rapture perfume, I do have the original bottle style as well in another like backup bin, Fabulous, So in Love, Hardcore Rose, Victoria's Secret Angel, and Love Pink. So that is my entire perfume collection. Like I said earlier, let me know in the comments below, are there any perfumes that you would like me to review separately? Do like a wear test on? 
I love all of my fragrances. I wear perfume every day. I keep forgetting to post like on my Instagram, which is in the description box below if you wanna follow me. I keep forgetting to post on my Instagram, like my scent of the day, but I always wear something. Like there's never a moment, except like when I'm sleeping, obviously, that I'm not wearing a perfume because I just, I love smelling good and that's just, that's just who I am. I get a lot of compliments on all of these fragrances. I don't think there's a single one in my collection that someone has truly just been like, wow, you smell bad. Um, they all are just, I love collecting perfumes and my collection is going to continue to grow. I have a bunch of candle or not candles. I keep thinking candles. I have a bunch of perfumes on my wish list for Sephora. I have some in Ulta and I go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls um, here and there when I can and find like discount fragrances, which that's a great place to go to find those things. There's also a fragrance outlet. Um, also next to the Bath and Body Works outlet, which is very convenient, but it's like an hour and a half away. But that's where I get some of my higher end fragrances as well, because I normally do like a big deal, like at the end of season. So that's where I like to go as well. And they're legitimate. It's not like one of those like sketchy places that you're like, oh, they're gonna put water in it or something. Like they're legitimate fragrances. So there's a bunch of other websites too, like Fragrance X, I think it's called that I've kind of dabbled into and like looked. QVC also sells perfumes. Didn't know that until the other day. Um, but there's just a lot of different places you can buy fragrances. So if you're interested in perfumes or looking for something, definitely check like a website like that or even QVC or something to see if there's a fragrance on there that you are looking for. But as always, there's a bunch of information in my description box below. If that subscribe button is red, turn it gray, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, as well as follow and subscribe to Shelton on YouTube and on Instagram. Thank you again, Shelton, for collabing with me in this very in-depth, very, very fun video. You won't be disappointed when you watch his videos. I love watching his videos. And I will see you all in the next video.